What's up guys, Vital Syntax here and the Battlefield Hardline beta is over so you'll have to wait five weeks until March 17th, 2015 in order to play Battlefield Hardline again. They're going to be releasing the game on Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, and PC, which is a little frustrating. I would prefer that they release the game just on the next-gen consoles and PC, that way we don't have to uh, compensate for the older generation of hardware. You can definitely tell with Battlefield Hardline compared to Battlefield 4, the graphics really have not been improved, and in some ways they've actually decreased in fidelity, which is a very frustrating thing. I mean, you expect each iteration of a game series to improve on the, the graphical fidelity, among other things, like adding and changing and upgrading the gameplay mechanics, which I think for the most part, Battlefield Hardline does a fairly good job of, and I'll get more into that in a bit. But hopefully with the next Battlefield game, or even better with Star Wars Battlefront, we won't have to deal with the old generation of consoles. I would hate to see something like Star Wars Battlefront be held back by uh, the Xbox 360 and the PS3, that'd just be extremely frustrating. I want them to be fully featured, I want them to destroy PCs. So there's a lot of people that played the beta, there's 7 million people that participated in the beta, and they got a lot of feedback, and they're gonna make a lot of tweaks, changes, obviously that's the whole purpose of a beta. And I'll get into some of the tweaks that they already talked about and made the last day of the beta that was on the PC. Uh, and those are gonna carry over into the full game, but there will be additional tweaks on top of those. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain, and I think the main complaint that I've heard from people in the comments, in other YouTube videos, on forums, in person, people you know, people that I play with, they'll say that Battlefield 4 is really just an expansion pack for, or sorry, <laughs> I, I made the mistake myself, that Battlefield Hardline is a expansion pack for Battlefield 4, and it's not worth the full $60 retail price, and in some ways I would agree with them. Uh, if you look at graphics alone, that's definitely you know, something to consider. But if you are not looking at graphics and you're looking at gameplay, you look at the gameplay tweaks, the tweaks to the classes, the, the new maps, the new weapons, the new game modes that they're adding, like Heist, Hotline, Blood Money, Crosshair, and Rescue, which I'll make a video that goes over all the new game modes probably separately. They have a lot of new game modes and a lot of tweaks and stuff, but ultimately it still feels the same. The user interface, the characters, the models, the gameplay, the whole feel of the game feels almost identical to Battlefield 4 and, for that matter, almost identical to Battlefield 3. And, in my opinion, the, the difference between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 was even less than the difference between Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. At least you have a new setting, a new environment to play in, but I totally understand people that make the complaint and, you know, aren't maybe going to buy the game until it's on sale. And that kind of brought a question to my mind that I wanted to ask you guys. What would be the retail price that you think Hardline should be sold at? Or what price would you buy it at? Were you going to buy it at full retail when the game comes out? Would you consider it if it was 30 bucks, 20 bucks, 40 bucks, zero dollars? I don't know. I'm just kind of curious what um, people are actually, you know, willing to dish out for the game. At least if they, you know, had a chance to play it and test it out in the beta. So let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, let's get on to the changes that they made the last day of the beta. Just some tweaks to the weapons and stuff, which I was happy about to hear because they are tweaks that I wanted to see personally. So the most important one for me was the M16 and the M4. 16 damage was lowered and the recoil was increased the ro933 which is essentially the m4 that was on both the cops and robbers side they reduced the recoil which is good and they also reduced the damage the uzi increase uh, was for hip fire accuracy the p90 had its spread increased they swapped the m45 and the g36c to the cops team and the ump and the m416 to the criminals which i thought was kind of interesting it seems like the ump would be a more um, you know, cops provided weapon, but uh, they also re reduced the effective range of 333 Magnum rounds, which are the one shot kill for like the AWM or the AWP. They reduced the 9mm damage and reduced 556 damage for all guns that use those caliber of pistol and rifle cartridges. They reduced the Spaz 12 damage output. They reduced the cooldown for med packs and ammo packs, which is nice because they seem like they take at least twice as long as they did in Battlefield 4. They also increased the resupply time for breaching charges, which I ever actually, never actually used in the beta, so I don't even know if they were in there, honestly, I never looked, but I, they sound kind of interesting. Uh, they decreased the um, range of the 870 with the Magnum attachment, and that's it. So some cool tweaks to the weapons, hopefully there will be more tweaks and changes in the full game, and I guarantee there will be. 
Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to playing the game. I, like I've said in the previous videos, don't plan to buy the game on release day. I'll see how the, and I wouldn't recommend anybody pre-order the game, but see how the servers and the game holds up on release day and see what the reviews are like for the single player and see if it's worth buying at that point or if you want to wait till it goes on sale, if it ever does, which it definitely will. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and once again, let me know in the comments down below what price would you pay for Headline?